for our salvation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your That house where that man abide and live has become the place where the Bible is printed today. Yes. Hallelujah! He anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering a sight to the blind, to set at liberty yes. them. Oh, Father, our man need restoration, oh God. Even though we have so many other things, but what we need is the move your spirit, oh God. Oh, we need the unity of your body, oh God. Oh, Father, your people are the presence of the living word as well because it's you who are the bread of life. Mine. Faith is that spirit of prevailing power in appropriating the promises of God as we have a continuous relationship with God the Father in a close and intimate way. Hallelujah. Praise God. As I said, every God called mission began with a vision. Moses received a glimpse of the glory of God, and he knew he was called to be the deliverer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I dedicate this vehicle. Speak, speak out of the make and the model of your car. With the registration plate, say it out if you can. Unto you, Lord Burn Jesus. Within my heart and despite my bones to share very briefly a message, I believe that will impact this generation for the Lord Jesus Christ, for the glory of God. I pray that as the people of God, especially the young people, will be propelled and be prepared to practice powerful principles of permanent partnership with a passionate pursuit. such as new clothing, new furniture, new car, new house, so on and so forth. Perhaps some of us have even bought mobile handphones or even new computers so many times that we've lost count of how many we have had since we got our first one. Friend, in this day and age, God is seeking for vessels to manifest My His power and glory. glory. passion to declare unto you, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only answer for the spiritual epidemic and social upheaval of our world today. Is there anybody today who would sing songs like, Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross, lift high His royal banner. 
it must not suffer, Lord. Our sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our There Lord is Jesus atonement Christ. in the blood. There is redemption in the blood. There is cleansing in the blood. There is power in the blood. Oh, hallelujah. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There's wondrous working power in the blood Jesus of Jesus. Jesus is the source of our salvation and redemption. Absolutely, completely, fully, totally, and wholly. Oh, Jesus is our source. Jesus is our source absolutely, completely, fully, totally, and God wholly. God loves us enough to forewarn us. While there's still the age of the dispensation of grace, right now, the gospel of Jesus Christ and Him crucified has the power to change our destiny if we will believe and Amen. embrace Amen. Jesus. The root of Jesse, the son of David, will come back in all His power and all His glory. He will no longer be lampooned and lambasted. The devil, for too long, is like a roaring lion, walking about seeking who he may devour. According to 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. But Jesus, the reigning and ruling Lion of Judah, the true Lion of Judah, who rose from the dead, is roaring through us, his people, with the gospel of grace. It's a roar of freedom. It's a roar of truth. It's a roar of victory over sin and death. The wicked flee with no man pursue, but the righteous as as bold as the lion, according to Proverbs chapter 2. Jesus is also also the blessed, blessed Lamb of God. John chapter 1, verse 29 says, the next day, John see of Jesus coming unto him and say, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Oh, this verse of scripture thrills me over and over again. Behold, behold, behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. See, the greatest sign of the end of the age is found in Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations and then the end will come and then the end will come I believe this is a wake-up call a shaking a season of shaking for the church and the nations we of must the be world. consumed with a vision of the cross humanity is standing at the threshold at the edge of eternity Humankind is standing at the crossroads of stepping either into heaven or hell. Let's be the carriers of His anointing to break every chain of bondage, every yoke of slavery, so that the people will be set free in Jesus' name. True gospel ministry encompasses teaching, preaching, and healing. According to Matthew chapter 9, verse 35, this is what it says. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Now, don't look at Jonathan or any other man or woman for your answer, for your miracle. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus Christ, the holy and anointed one. We are just frail vessels. The priceless and precious treasure is the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. See, we need the true gospel of grace like never before. Not the gospel of greed. Not the gospel of self-esteem. Not the gospel of social justice. Our pride, our self-will, our self-sufficiency, our self-righteousness has to go. Only the gospel of Jesus Christ and Him crucified has the power to give us the liberty and to set us free. Only the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus who saves, heals, baptizes in the Holy Spirit and is coming again, will transform our lives. Even mighty servants of God go through the wilderness at times. We may be greatly used of God, but there are seasons when we face our spiritual desert when there's a great sense of fear and loneliness that overwhelms us, in those moments we must learn to deny ourselves and continue hiding ourselves in Christ. What a powerful transformation. We might even say that it's very dramatic. From a great persecutor of the Lord, disciple, to one of the finest and strongest apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, Saul, who became known as the Apostle Paul. The significance of this conversion changed the world. Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, 
wrote much of the New Testament, is a chosen vessel, according to verse 15, to present the written word not only to the people of his time, but throughout history and even until today. However, being God's chosen vessel does not mean one is immune to human opposition or even attacked by Satan. In fact, suffering is often part of serving in true gospel ministry. Praise God! In the Bible, heaven is mentioned at least 13 times more than hell, if my calculation is correct. Yet on earth, we humans use the word hell more often. We use it as profanity, as swear words such as, What the hell? Go to hell! We use such expressions when we're angry or frustrated with people or with situations. Whether we really mean it or not, consciously or not, hell is a serious damn word. Some people think of hell as a party. The truth is hell is no joke. It's a place of great pain and torment. There are many people in hell right now. If they could, they will rise from the dead to tell you not to go there. The thing is, the Bible says that even if they were to rise from the dead to warn us against going to hell, we would not necessarily believe. Why? We have the prophets, we have the preachers, we have the Bible, we have the Word of God. If we don't believe in the message of the salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ, who paid sin's pride on the cross of Calvary, that through Him there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun, we would not believe even if our loved ones or friends who have passed on comes back to life and warn us to flee from the wrath and the fury of hell. I am not a messenger of gloom and doom. But just as a doctor needs to break the bad news to the sick or his or her loved one at times and recommend the appropriate treatment, Jesus Christ, the healer, the great physician, offers the remedy for our sin-sick soul. He called forth his ministers, the preachers and watchmen, to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17, to boldly make known the good news of the gospel. The gospel of Lord Jesus Christ is good news. The good news that we don't have to go to hell. The good news is that through the cross of Calvary, Jesus paid sin's pride that we can enter into the heaven. Praise the Lord. Holy hurricane is blowing from heaven. A holy hurricane of a rocking revival to plunder hell and populate heaven. Come, brave of God, shake this nation. Come, brave of God, shake this city. Come, brave of God, stir this generation with Jesus' revelation. Come, brave of God, sweep this nation. Come, brave of God, shake this city. Come, brave of God, stir this generation with Jesus' revelation. Come, brave of God, stir this generation with Jesus' revelation. Oh, come, breath of God, stir this generation with Jesus' revelation. With one accord in the house of God, with one accord, we will bless you, Lord, when we are filled. With you, Holy Spirit, the church will grow as your power comes on us. With one accord in the house of God, with one accord, we will bless you, Lord, as we go forth with the gospel of grace our hearts will know as your kingdom come on earth our hearts will know
Let your kingdom come on earth. One thing I desire of that will I see that I may dwell in all the days of my life to behold. Touch me, Holy Spirit. Let your presence fill this temple like a fire. Face to face. Touch me, Holy Spirit. Let your presence fill this temple like a fire. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So pants my soul for you. Oh God, you are my thirst. In the wilderness I pour out my soul within me. My flesh and my heart fail. But you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. My flesh and my heart fail, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion. Spirit of the Lord has been upon my life to preach the good news, to heal the brokenhearted, set the captives free, to proclaim the salvation of the Lord. Baptize me, Holy Spirit, let the fire burn within my soul Wash me in the blood of the Lamb Take my heart, my life, and my spirit A living sacrifice Wash me in the blood of the Lamb Take my heart, my life, and my spirit, a living sacrifice. Come to the river of God, drink of the water of life. Come to the river of God, contrite hearts are revived in this holy place. The streams are flowing, heaven's rain flourish the steel soul. Come to the table of grace, eat of the richest of fare. Come to the table of grace, hungry souls are well fed. Celebrate the feast, the bread is broken. Drink this cup of mercy and grace. Come to the altar of prayer. Offer a sacrifice of praise. Come to the altar of prayer. Seek the Lord face to face. Let the fire, O oh Lord, burn with your holy oil. 
Take my heart and set me up. Come to the river of God. Come to the river of God. Drink of the water of life. Come to the river of God. Contrite hearts are revived. Through this holy place, the streets of glory. Heaven's rain, heaven's rain, heaven's rain. Flood each thirsty soul. my dwelling place you are my sun and shield you will give grace glory and good thing for a day in your courts that's where I want to be for a day in your courts and my soul is satisfied for a day in your courts that's where I want to be for a day in your courts, and my soul is satisfied. You are my comforter, you are my closest friend. You will give peace, love, joy, and power. For a day in your courts, that's where I want to be. For a day in your courts and my soul is satisfied For a day in your courts, that's where I want to be For a day in your courts and my soul is satisfied You are my physician, you are my healer You will give health Truth and prosperity For a day in your courts That's where I want to be For a day in your courts And my soul is satisfied For a day in your courts That's where I want to be For a day in your courts And my soul is satisfied for a day in your courts, that's where I want to be. For a day in your courts, and my soul is satisfied. For a day in your courts, that's where I want to be. For a day in your courts, and my soul is satisfied. into your holy tabernacle through the blood into your presence to seek your face and to hear your voice I draw close to you Lord I thirst for you I come into your holy tabernacle through the blood into your presence to seek your face and to hear your voice, I draw close to you. Lord, I thirst for you. Come into your holy tabernacle through the blood into your presence to seek your face and to hear your voice. I draw close to you to seek your face and to hear your voice. I draw close to you. Oh, I draw close to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana the United States of America. It's a city well known for food, music, and so much more. Jazz music is popular here, and this includes gospel song that has jazz version. Coming to you from the Big Apple, New York City, the United States of America. This is one of the most recognized cities in the world. Beyond the social 
political and economic foundation and freedom that makes this one of the greatest nations on the face of the earth. There is a liberty that will never lose its power. The cross of Jesus Christ and the blood of the Lamb of God. The truth of Jesus Christ and Him crucified that can set us free. The truth that Jesus saves, heals, baptizes us in the Holy Spirit and is coming again. Hallelujah. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois, the United States of America. They call this the Windy City. It has some of the most magnificent skyscrapers in the world. In the Christian experience, we can learn a thing or two from great architecture, great buildings that have strong foundations that can withstand the wind and the elements of life. Likewise, in the Christian experience, there are times that we've experienced the winds of life blowing against us, the storms of life. On a cold day or in the evening after a long day at work and you just want a light meal, there's probably nothing as comforting and satisfying as having a warm soup or stew. I'm Jonathan and one of my favourite dishes is chicken bak kut teh. This is Jonathan in Perth, Australia during winter time. We had the opportunity to prepare a dish. Shall we call it lamb with vegetable casserole? We want to give you this opportunity to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart. I want to appeal to you. I want to beg you. I want to plead with you to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart, to be your Lord, to be your Savior. If this is the desire of your heart, and if you're willing, I want to pray a prayer. And I want you to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, with your lips, asking the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart and life. See, we must admit that we are sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We must be willing to repent from disobedience and rebellion against God. Because of our disobedience and rebellion against God, all of us deserve to go to hell. But God has made a provision. God has made a way through Jesus Christ that we can escape the flames of hell. That we can turn from darkness into light. We can ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Pray this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I now recognize I'm a sinner. I'm in need of salvation. I accept the sacrifice you paid for me on the cross of Calvary and allow your precious shed blood to cleanse me. I now surrender myself to you and invite you to be my Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart. Take full control of my life and help me to live and serve you from this moment forward. I ask in the name of Jesus, amen, amen. my soul for you oh god you are my thirst in the wilderness i pour out my soul my heart fail but you are the strength of my heart And my heart fail, but you are the strength. 